Let's turn to the subject of Syria. You, you uh, outline, or the book outlines, how there's been little change between George W. Bush and Obama, how the U.S. policy all through had little to do with human rights in Syria and much more to do with uh, sponsoring Iraqi-style sectarianism uh, that led us to ISIS and, of course, the refugee crisis, which is making headlines now. And that's right. If our Syria chapter goes back to 2006. There's a very important cable in 2006 from Ambassador Roebuck, uh, stationed in Damascus. And he writes back um, discussing uh, a plan for the overthrow um, of um, the Assad uh, government in Syria. And that plan is not, well, we should you know, support the opposition uh, and so on through you know, better, better media planning and so on. Uh, it's, it's to use uh, a number of different factors to create paranoia uh, within the Syrian government to push it to overreact, uh, to make it fear that uh, there's a coup, uh, to use uh, its maneuvers against Islamic extremists against it. So when Syria says we have a problem with Islamic extremists crossing over the border with Iraq uh, and we're taking actions against them, to take this information and make it uh, make uh, the Syrian government look weak uh, the fact that it is dealing with Islamic um, extremists at all. Um, and then, most seriously, uh, to foster tensions between Shia, uh, Shia, Shiites and Sunnis. Uh, in particular, take rumours uh, which they know to be false and say in the cable uh, they know to be false or exaggerations uh, and promote them that Iran is trying to convert poor Sunnis uh, and to work uh, with Saudi uh, and Egypt uh, to foster that perception in order to make it harder uh, for Iran to have influence uh, and also harder for the government to have influence in the population. This man Roebuck, now ambassador to Bahrain, so caught there deliberately trying to foster the kind and of destruction is, that's led to quite, the refugee crisis. I mean, there's a number of cables that speaking about in the Syrian chapter, but that particular cable, it is really quite concerning. I mean, it. You know, often cables are written in such a way where you have to read between the lines or look what is uh, not said. In this particular cable, it's just all hanging out, um, a whole lot of Machiavellian schemes uh, to overthrow the Syrian government. And it's predating any of the human rights demonstrations against the Assad government? It predates the demonstrations in 2011.